Several listeners have sent in questions about Chris Jericho's recent comments on fans singing along with music at wrestling shows. Oh boy, I heard this. Here's a quote. Now it has definitely become a thing. It's now to the point where other people's ring songs are being sung with. I'm talking about Jungle Boy or even Seth Rollins in WWE. It's almost like Judas was the pioneer of that. Oh my God. And the fans have so much fun singing that one, uh, excuse me, fans have, have so much fun singing that one, they want to sing other ones as well. Oh. And that's great, but Judas was kind of one of the first for that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> No, it wasn't. And I, again, yes, they do sing Judas. I'm not saying they don't like to sing the Judas. But let's not get ridiculous. For one thing, who hasn't in a shopping mall, a bar, a restaurant, an elevator over the past 40 years gone, oh, 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 with Baltimore, for fuck's sake. The song's 40 years old. That's the parts people remember about it. And with the fucking Seth Rollins thing, oh, 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 I can't, I can't even do the tune because everybody's got an O now. Every NXT star for like Every, five years came out to that. Yeah. <laughs> but even before that, my God, you think that nobody was singing along to the Rock and Roll Express? Or I remember when Handsome Jimmy Valiant did his fucking record in Memphis, Son of a Gypsy. The fucking people were singing that on the way, and they'd play it on the way to the fucking... Ra it's not new to sing or to vocalize or mime or mimic the uh, fucking hot wrestlers' entrance music. It's just... It's not. It's been going on for, for years. I mean, there's some, you know, with the instruments... Austin's music was incredibly over when the glass broke and everything, but it wasn't like something that had a catchy tune that you could hum it or play it on the mouth harp that would have been amazing if people started bringing glass bottles to the shows that they go step <laughs> on that, it at one time <laughs> <laughs> that may have been dangerous if, if ecw <laughs> had a thought of it they would have, but no again yes chris they're singing along to your song but they've always sung along to songs well here's the other thing whether it's nxt or wwe or even a case like jungle boy although they kind of knew what they were going to get with that song People naturally do it. There's a difference between that and training your audience to do it because you're filming wrestling students and plants in the audience rocking out to your song well, yes, yes. for months during a pandemic. That did help quite a bit during the pandemic where they showed the, uh, the people that that is the accepted behavior. You're supposed to not only sing this, but act like you're on the goddamn The Voice or something or the, the you know, what was the, uh, the big... Uh, American Idol. Lip, lip sync. No, the big lip sync show they did. Oh, what, there know. was some some goddamn lip sync show they did where you'd go overboard. And yes, and all the wrestling school students that wanted five seconds of camera time would orgasm all over themselves while singing the song, and that led to it. But I would say if you want to know about lip syncing, ask Chris Jericho. I couldn't help you with that topic there. Hey, now, come on. All right, Jim. I just got I just got an email actually, and I don't have it in front of me, but this is the time to bring it up. <laughs> this guy sent an email. He, he must be from the United Kingdom when Fozzie went over for their European tour, leg of their world tour, because he talked to the sound guy. I guess he's a musician too, and he said, "Well, how come Jericho's mic was so far down and reverb was turned up, and he used some other kind of technical?" you know, jargon, and the, the sound tech told him that's because Jericho's a crummy singer. So they, his own band, this wasn't a local guy, this was the guy with Fozzie. Yeah, we turn him down, we crank up the reverb, we do this other thing, and that way it sounds better. But that's just what I'm hearing. That's what I've heard as well, so we will move on from there. Thank you for your comments, Chris Jericho. 